Hi everybody, I'm Mike Sokol from RB Electricity and this is just a quick little video to show you several different ways that you can use to check the polarity, that is the hot neutral polarity, on a TT30 receptacle. Uh, anytime you replace one or maybe you encounter one in the wild that you're not sure of, um, I think that's the time to just double check. I'm going to show you how to do it with a meter and with an adapter and with a couple of little gadgets here that anybody can use. So. Um, yeah, this is my test station here. I can change the voltage up and down and I can do all kinds of wacky stuff. I just have my TT30 turned on right now. Um, I have my meter set here to 600 volt uh, AC scale. And of course, if we would go to look at this, up the top here is our ground. And this should be, on the right, should be our neutral or white. And this should be our hot or black over here. Uh, first, we're going to just confirm that we have voltage in here and our meter's working. Uh, yeah, we have 121 volts. Um, I can go and just double check from my ground over here to my hot, should measure that same 121. And from my ground connection here over to my neutral, ought to be very close to zero, but could be upwards of three volts or so in a loaded campground, you know, with other things going on. Okay, that's one way to do it. Um, however, some people have trouble getting the meter probes in here. So what I like to do for my demonstrations, I get one of these little $5 inexpensive hockey puck style uh, TT30 to uh, NEMA 5-15 adapters. Plug that baby in here. And it's a little easier just to kind of stick. The probes will just kind of stick in here um, all by themselves. And there we go. We're sitting, measuring 122 volts. Oh, that's right. I can... Uh, Tweak my voltage up and down a little bit over here. Yeah, isn't that great? Um, and, this, and the exact same thing should happen over here. So uh, the white on the right should be, um, you know, if the, if the ground is up, should be very close to zero volts. It's zero volts here because I don't have any load on the system. Um, and going over the other way ought to be our line voltage, um, 120 ish kind of a thing um, and that's and that's good but now some people are a little afraid of using meters um, and it's possible to get them set wrong but here's a couple of other ways that you could do this um, you go get yourself a ten dollar uh, three light tester here um, plug that into this same little adapter and guess what it shows the polarity is correct so you've got two ambers and no red uh, you should there should not be a GFCI on this anyway so you don't have to worry about testing that that works actually really quite well. Um, and for some of you that are afraid to use meters, you can get these little guys here. You've seen me use these ones. You get them on Amazon for $8 or $10 or something. I think I got two of them for 16 bucks, um, which actually work quite well. I found out it's within a couple of volts of the of my big meter up here, although this one's adjustable. I could open it up and recalibrate it against a known meter. You see it's measuring a couple of volts low, but it starts to show you that you have voltage over here and you have proper polarity over here. So I think um, your meter is your first choice if you're comfortable using it. If you're not comfortable using it, one of these guys right here with a, uh, a plug-in three light tester will work great. Now some of these, I don't have one sitting on my desk, have got a, um, a meter, a uh, voltmeter built into the bottom of it. However, that really is for receptacles that are oriented with the ground down, not up. So what you end up with is something like this. you got to stand on your head and look up underneath, or you just plug it into a little shorty extension cord is what I typically do. Hi, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity. I hope you enjoyed that quick tip on how to check TT30 polarity. See you later.